campaign, Population 1000, is hanging on by its fingernails. CN Rail provides some jobs, and so does the local lumber mill. But in the past 20 years, half the residents have left. We have all kinds of space. Mayor Morley Foster won the last local election on his plan to bring people back. Turn horn paint into the site of Canada's nuclear waste dump. So here comes along a lot of money and uh, a lot of jobs for a century. We'd be fools and irresponsible not to inquire. It's hard to believe that any town would want to be the nuclear waste capital of Canada. But in fact, Hornpain is one of more than 20 communities across the country trying to be just that. The reason? They're desperate for jobs. There are now more than 2 million highly radioactive waste bundles stored at nuclear power plants around Canada. They're cooled in water for 10 years and then locked in steel containers. The method is safe. It has been demonstrated uh, many times. Uh, but from the social acceptance is the challenge. That method is to encase the waste rods in copper and clay and bury them 500 meters down, the height of the CN Tower, in rock. Uh, 21 communities in the nuclear industry group is now visiting the 21 interested communities, promising 800 construction jobs and a permanent research center. Resident Julie Roy Ward is undecided, but she finds the lure of jobs tempting. People are struggling to make a living. People are struggling to to be able to remain here. But the town's former mayor, Art Swanson, doesn't buy the hype about all the jobs or claims the rock vault won't crack and leak. They assure you it's safe, and I'm sure they assured the people in Japan it was safe. But maybe it isn't so safe. Well, why take that chance? The final site won't be chosen for a decade. In the meantime, people in Hornpain will vote whether or not to keep their town in the running. Their choice? Future home of nuclear waste or maybe no future at all. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Hornpain, Northern Ontario.